I mean, obviously it was the game was very much in the balance, so it was important for us to take care of the new ball up front. Obviously there's a bit of sideways movement, so um, nice for Tony and I to get a little partnership there and, and sort of get through that initial phase. But I think as we've seen throughout the day, there's, there's always something happening sideways or, or even up and down. So um, bowlers are always feeling like they're in the game and, and rightly so. So for us as batters, um, trying to maximise as much as you can. Uh, that's why you kick yourself and you get out after you, you get in in conditions like these. But um, yeah, ultimately in the position we are now, we, we would have taken it this morning for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's strange because 16 wickets on day one or 17 wickets on day one and only eight today. But um, throughout the course of the two days, you, you always feel like the bowlers are in with a chance. So um, you would suggest it's probably got a little bit better for batting. But um, I can tell you from my experience from batting there, it, it never quite feels like you're in. So um, one of those wickets where you either grind or you, you really get positive and, and maximize the amount of balls that you're going to face and um, pick one of those and, and commit to that. So um, hopefully the, the wicket keeps deteriorating, keeps going up and down, keeps going sideways for us. Um, so, so that when we, we get there to try to defend that target, we can, we can get them be before they get there. I mean, ultimately, it's just adding to, to the team's score. But um, yeah, it's, it's one of two. You, you knuckle down and you, you try to work through it, or you, you take the game on and, and see where that gets you. So um, I just felt with the new ball, you, you really wanted to try to get through it and not expose um, your middle order to it too early. So that was my thinking. Um, and then after that, the guys could play. But um, for me personally, obviously, would have loved to have kicked on um, and, and s try to take it really deep and, and get a lot of overs under their legs. But um, fortunately for that really good partnership at the end of the day between Carl and, and Vesey for, for us to be in a, a pretty decent position. Yeah, Vesey has been great. Um, obviously, breaking the game open for us yesterday. And then the partnership now with Scolzi has been, has been really good. So. The two of them, that, that partnership is, is worth gold in my opinion, like you've mentioned, after a flurry of wickets, um, settle the ship and then transfer pressure back and um, they scored freely somehow on that wicket, which, which is testament to how good they are both as players and as batters and um, they've got us to a really good position. So um, it's a massive partnership for us and a massive partnership in the context of the game too. Yeah, I mean, every time, the, every day, the, the first hour of play is, is the one that sets you up for the day. So it, again, tomorrow morning is important for us. but. Um, probably more just trying to replicate what the two of them did uh, for this last session. It, it clearly worked and that recipe, you would believe that I it's enough for them to, to do the same tomorrow and for it to work. So um, much of the same for them, I would assume, but it is still important for us. And um, I don't think there's a set target in mind. I think you bat for as long as you can. It's still really early in the test match and um, get as many as you can and, and we go out and, and try to defend it.